In this lecture, I want to show you an important feature in PowerPoint. If you morph one slide into the other, by default, PowerPoint decides which objects it will morph into. I want to show you how you can decide into which of those three objects the previous slide will morph into. This is the one most important feature about the morphing that I want to highlight. Here we have a light bulb. Let me duplicate this slide, make this light bulb smaller and duplicate it a bunch of times. For example, I've duplicated it three times. Now, what do you think morph will do? Will it morph the icon number one, icon number two or icon number three? I'm not even sure. I think the middle one or the last one, but okay. So it morphs the last one, but what about these? I wanted personally that the first one will be morphed. What can you do here? You can go back to this slide, go to home, select, open the selection pane and give this light bulb a name. And before you give the name, make two exclamation marks, two exclamation marks. I'll call it bulby. And on this slide, I'll do the same. I will select the one I want it to morph into. I'll call it exclamation mark, exclamation mark bulby and they should now morph into each other. Because the other, they are called like group 23, group 44, but this one has the exclamation marks and the same name, so PowerPoint knows you should morph into this one. Take a look, transitions, morph, and this is the genius trick. Like here before, you don't have to do anything now. Look at this slide. I wanted this circle to move to the right side, but the PowerPoint morphing, when I click on this slide, PowerPoint thought, hey, this one is closer, I'll just morph this one. Look what happens. Morph, instead of going across, it goes bottom. I wanted it to move across. So again, same principle. Oval one, hey dude, exclamation, exclamation, oval one. I'll just copy that over. I'll give the same name to this one. Now I made sure that PowerPoint knows, hey, I don't want you to move bottom. I want you to move across the slide. Look at that. Morph. Everything works now according to my decision, not what PowerPoint thought is convenient for it. This is a very important piece of information when it comes to morph animation. I hope you do enjoy that and we can build upon the knowledge we gained right now in future animations we do. Let's proceed.